In this part, let's try to address one of the very important and um, serious issues that we have with this model, and that is the belly. When the character raises the leg, the leg always cuts into the belly, and weight painting cannot help us at all in this case. You can support CG Dive by purchasing this course or some of the exclusive courses on academy.cgdive.com. I want to keep trying to solve all possible problems with additional bones. And so to solve the belly problem is not that difficult. We just need a couple of uh, belly bones, at least two on each side and uh, one in the middle. And we need to automate these bones so that when the character raises the leg towards the belly, these bones automatically go up. As always, there are many ways to approach and solve this problem. One would be using transformation constraint. You can tell, for example, this bone to move up as this bone, the leg bone, rotates up. That is certainly a solution. The problem is with uh, some of the other bones, for example, this central one. You have to tell this bone to go up when this uh, leg bone is kind of moving at an angle towards this bone. And how do you do that becomes a little bit problematic. So I came up with another solution and it involves something that I wanted to avoid as much as possible, but now I really cannot avoid it. And that is drivers. Drivers are a little bit complicated, but they allow us to do really, really cool stuff. So let's go to a meta rig, hide the generated rig. And now what I want is to create a system that detects when the leg is close to the belly. The solution that I came up with is to create bones that detect this proximity. So one bone will be parented here to the leg itself and another bone will be inside the belly. And when these bones come closer together, will create a driver with an expression that will tell the belly bone to move up. So let's start building this uh, system. In edit mode, I'm going to select the leg bone, shift S, cursor to select it, and then shift A to create a new bone, individual origins, and I'm going to scale it down a bit and move it a little bit up. After testing, I think uh, a position around here, right under the crotch, is good. And then I'm going to rename this bone legproximity.l and I'm going to parent it to the leg with keep offset. And before I forget, I want to give it a Robocopy rig type. Okay, again in edit mode, I'm going to duplicate this bone and place it in the belly area. Somewhere around here, if I go to pose mode, okay, first in edit mode, I want to parent this belly bone, the belly proximity bone, I have to rename it also, but first I want to parent it to the spine, and then I'm going to name it belly proximity.l. So now in pose mode, when I rotate this leg, I want to be able to rotate this uh, leg without the leg proximity bone going above the belly proximity bone, because that would mess up our calculations. So in edit mode, I'm going to move this bone a little bit to the side and this one, maybe the leg one, maybe a little bit lower, something like that. Yeah, I think that, that will work quite well. Okay, and this bone itself will not move, so I need another bone that will actually do the moving. Let's go to edit mode, scale this bone down a little bit, shift T, duplicate it, and then rename this bone mchbelly.l for now. I'll probably be renaming these bones because I'll add more similar bones, but for now this will do. 
this new bone that I just created will be the bone which uh, will have a driver on it. Let's go to pose mode, item, and to move this bone up, I need to affect its Y position. So in here, I'm going to hover over the Y value and right click and choose add driver. I'll get this pop-up menu. As soon as I move over, it will disappear. So it's hard to work with. So instead, I'm going to split my screen and this window, I'll change to drivers. Okay, in the driver window, press N to open the N panel, select the Y location and go to the drivers tab. And this is the default state of a driver. It has one variable which is not really set up and the expression is basically equal to that variable. So we need to set it up. So the first thing that we want to do is get this distance between the leg proximity and um, belly proximity bones. If I click this uh, menu here, I'll have a couple of options and one of them is distance, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to choose the meta rig as my object. This will also show this bone uh, option. And in here, I'm going to start typing proximity and I'm going to choose first the belly proximity. And then here again, I'm going to choose the meta rig and for the bone, it will be leg proximity. As soon as we set this up, the position of the belly bone changed and this is because now this variable is properly set up as you can see its value is 0.369 and if we look over uh, to the end panel you'll see that the y position of this bone is 30.36892 which is not exactly the same but this value is probably rounded so through the driver this value was assigned to the y position of this bone that's a good start, but it's not what we want. In fact, if I try to rotate the bone now, uh, I'll get the opposite effect. As I move the leg closer to the belly, the belly bone will move down. We want the exact opposite behavior. To create the behavior that we desire, we need to subtract our variable from this initial value that we get. So if I change this expression to 0 0.369 minus var, and I can also delete this plus zero, then you'll see that the bone now snaps to its initial, initial position. And as I raise the leg, it will move up. The problem that we'll still have is that if I rotate the leg backwards, this belly bone will move down, which is not what we want. For that, we can write a very simple Python expression and it will be something like this. The first part is already okay. After that, we'll type if. If the variable is less than this initial uh, value that we have, which is 0 0.369. And after that, we will type else 0. I'll click this update dependencies button just in case. Sometimes Blender does not update this calculations automatically so we need to click this button but now when I rotate this bone up we get upwards movement of the belly uh, bone and then backwards there is no no movement which is perfect it is almost perfect um, one problem that we have now is, is that the belly bone starts moving as soon as we rotate the leg which is not exactly what we want this leg has a little bit of a thickness which I can measure actually with the measure tool the thickness is about 0 0.17, which means that I want to subtract 0 0.17 from this uh, initial distance value that we have. So it will be something like 0 0.2. And for the if statement, we also want 0 0.2. Now, when I move this bone, it, at first nothing will happen. And then I'll reach this limit that I just set up for the distance. And then this will start moving the bone. Okay, now we set up one bone, but as I said, we want at least five. One in the center, one here, the one we 
all already set up and one more at the side of the belly. Let's see how we can set those up. In edit mode, I'm going to select one of these belly bones, the bottom part of it actually, and press Shift S cursor to select it. And then under view, 3D cursor, I want to set the X location to zero. Then I'm going to select both of these uh, belly bones like this, Shift D, duplicate them, Shift S, selection to cursor. Make sure you don't have offset here. And then in the side view, I'm going to move this new pair of bones a little bit closer to the edge of the belly, like this. Now if I go to pose mode and select this, the MCH belly bone, the driver has disappeared. So when you copy bones in Blender, they don't preserve the drivers, but that's not a problem. I'm going to select this bone that has a driver, right click on the driver, copy driver, and then I'll select this bone, hover over Y, right click, paste driver. Now in the driver window, select this Y location. All we have to do is change this from belly proximity L to uh, belly proximity L001. This naming is not good, so let, let's change the names as well. I'm going to click on this 001 bone. Now, instead of belly.l, I'll name it belly C for center, or even center if you want. But no, I'll keep it to C. And the other bone will be belly proximity C. Okay, now my driver is set to belly proximity C. I can see that the initial value for the distance is 4.7. So again, I want to do this rough cal calculation where I subtract 0.17 from this initial value. And that is an easy calculation. It, it will be 0.3. So I'll substitute this 0.2 uh, value with 0.3. Now, if I raise the bone in the X direction, you'll see that this bone gets affected a little bit. And if I then move it in the Z direction, you'll see that this bone starts to move up and this one a little bit down. And that is because my proximity bone gets closer to, to the central bone and a little bit farther from the side one. Okay, let's press Alt R to clear this rotation. And now finally, I want one more uh, bone with the same setup at the side of the belly. So let's rename these uh, bones a little bit. MCH belly S for side 1. This is going to be the first side bone, dot L. And the same thing for the proximity bone, underscore S1, dot L. Select both bones, go to edit mode. Shift D, duplicate those bones and place them in the side of the belly, something like this. Then go to the front view and again move it. Let's move it more to the side. Go to pose mode. Copy the driver. Paste it into the new bone. Select the new bone. Select this Y location. I want to change this bone value to proximity S dot l dot zero zero one and i want to clean up my names as well instead of dot zero zero one i'll have simply s2 for side two and same thing for the other one now when i rotate the leg sideways this side a belly will start to move all right and now i want this same setup on the right side as well. So edit mode, select this bone, the leg proximity bone, these two belly bones and these four belly bones, armature, symmetrize. Unfortunately, the drivers were not symmetrized. We have to do that manually. Select this bone, copy driver, then this bone, paste the driver, now change the first bone in the in the distance calculation to be proximity s1.r because it's on the right side and this one I want proximity leg proximity 
dot r, which is this bone here. Okay, select this S2 bone on the left side, copy driver, select S2 on the right side, paste driver into the Y, select the Y for the first bone, we want S2.R, and for the second one, leg proximity.R. And if I move my right leg around, I can verify that the drivers work. Awesome, with that, the hard work is actually done. Now we just need to clean things up and add the actual deformation bones because currently we just have some MCH mechanism bones which kind of move around but they won't move the actual mesh. That's it for this chapter. Please like, subscribe and check out our other projects academy.cgdive.com and addons.cgdive.com